What's going on everybody? So in my previous video I did an assassin build to counter the meta like low yi northern veil dragon altar build and in this video I will be showing a mage build and how you can also counter that and a marksman freya with this build. Also I'm going to be talking about Remy with this little gold skill and how you can use him to the best of your ability and he works very well with mages because not only can you scale in gold pretty decent with this commander but you can also risk a lot of hit points and almost guarantee to either get items get that upgrade and when doing a mage build like i'm doing in this in this particular video which will be six western desert and six mages you have to get to level 10 commander and that's one of the reasons why remy works so great is because you can literally deplete your own health so you make sure you get that item so even at the start here i am i'm not really trying to win even though i did there I'm, I'm still trying to risk even more hit points with using the commander just so I can prepare myself for really the second fate box to try to get the upgrade or even perhaps the third, like just basically just trying to lower my health, um, which <laughs> I know it might not make sense to everybody, but that is just when I'm doing this mage build in particular, like I want that upgrade so bad. So that way I'm able to get my six out of six Western desert because it really does. It almost makes Esmeralda unkillable. And she is my main, my main focus, my main carry. Everything else is just there to put out some damage, but she is the one that really almost unkillable when you get the right items on her and if you build right as I'm gonna and I'll show you right now so early game I do I keep my mages in the little corner and usually I'll spread them out like almost right after the first boss like I, I never leave them together for a long time just because it's an easy way to get your team instantly wiped by any skill damage by any team. So you definitely want to make sure you spread them out at a decent level. And don't, don't even be messing around with that. Now we got a magic lifesteal, which really is my priority. I will, I will take that over a magic box 100%. Just because... I'm going for the Western Desert. I'm going for a late game win vor versus any team. And, you know, some people might go for the magic box to get that initial burst off, of, off with Aurora. But late, late game, a lot of teams will be able to live through that. So I, I'm really looking for sustainability. And that is why I will always go for that item. So we're looking pretty decent here that at the start by using any skill and getting to 20 gold right off the bat, it's going to give you a little bit of an edge, I'm not going to lie, it's pretty nice. So definitely if you guys are thinking about getting a commander, he is, he is super useful right now just to ensure you get a synergy or an item at the start and to boost your gold up just a little bit. Now, as far as when to use his skill, I, I literally use it whenever it's up, except for maybe at the like very, very last rounds. If say I'm at like 30 hit points and I don't need to be going to a lower hit points, like I already have an upgrade, you know, slot 10 out of 10, that's like probably the only time I won't use the skill. Just because I am, I'm always gold hungry and I want to make sure that I'm getting the 
best income I can get and just gives you a little bit of an edge up. Now, as far as the mages are concerned, like in general, I, I try to get the core heroes, so like the Carmilla, Vale, Valir if I can, Harith for sure, all of them, and Chang'un to level two before I start heavily upgrading my commander. And that is just because of the elementalist synergy. And that is why I'm continuing to reroll here is because I want these guys at level two so my elementalist synergy gets a three star. And that just it makes all the difference to get the get that hero that extra hero to three star instead of an extra hero to two star. And as far as getting the Harith to three star and the Veil to three star, the one gold heroes, it's either you get a lot of them at the start and you can three star it or you don't. Like you never want to push too far. And at this point I decided, okay, it's time to upgrade because you don't want to fall too behind because if you fall too behind, you might not be able to find your Cecilian, your Aurora, the heroes you need to complete the synergy. And if you can't find them, you, I mean, it's just, you instantly lose. <laughs> like, if you can't get to six mages, you're not really doing a mage build. So using my strategy here, I, I missed the upgrade slot by literally just a few hit points which kind of sucks, but I was able to get a defense plate, which is one of the most useful items on Esmeralda, especially if she already has that magic lifesteal, because now she's going to be doing a ton of damage just from that plate alone, mixed with the fact that she has a shield that you know she'll regenerate and then she'll lifesteal. It's really great, so I would definitely take that item over the burst damage item because you already have the six was you already have the Western Desert effect, which is going to make them miss attacks. So it just it offers a little bit more damage, and yeah, I feel like it's a superb item. So here we're able to get another Sicilian, very good. I think I was debating whether to save or to upgrade there. And as you can see, I still have two of my Esmeraldas in, and that is just really so the elemental bonus can work to the best of the ability. Like I want to keep all my heroes that are two star in at the start, you know, before I get to six out of six mages, so that way I just get get a free level. Okay, so it looks like that uh, Lo Yi actually copied someone. So this is before the, the skill upgrade. So I did not know that coming into this, but I just saw it there. Either way, the last battle at the end will be versus the six marksman synergy Freya, which is uh, you know, a whole beast on her own. So. I don't think it's really too big of a deal, but I will definitely. Uh, I can definitely show another video here soon uh, with mages versus the new low E. And you can also use low E and a mage build as I, I did in my video just a few videos back. Okay, got the Esme to three star and really got the, probably what I would say the three best items for her. Magic Lifesteal, Hit Points Helmet, and that Defense Plate. Just really gonna make her almost unkillable once you get the six out of six Western Desert in there. You can see she's literally soloing like a whole assassin team. And that is just why I love Esmeralda. 
uh, especially at late, late game. Okay, gonna, going to go ahead and upgrade there. And in that last round, we didn't even have six of six mages. So she wasn't even getting that huge mage bonus. Now, the Valier and the Aurora are still at one star, which is unfortunate. And that is definitely what you want to focus on. Getting everything on the battlefield to two star. So that way, your two elementalist synergy or four elementalist, but you get two heroes that will level up will go to three star and that's when you can really uh, no, no, no. I'm only borrowing this. do the damage and no excel with this build now here I'm going to go ahead and prepare to get to six of six western desert so I'm just going to grab the Kufra and grab the Claude so that way if I get the upgrade slot I can throw them in here and just give Esmeralda that really big buff. She is just a beast, so enjoyable to watch at three star. And since we used our skill, lowered our hit points, we are able to get this item. And that is just one of the ways you can use Remy to the best of your abilities. Is to lower your hit points to get these upgrades that you usually wouldn't be able to get if you are winning consistently. And I think if you win like every round throughout the whole fight and constantly using Remy's skill, it's literally going to eat up like 40 of your hit points. So... It is a lot, but you get a lot of gold, and you are able to obtain items and upgrades that you sometimes would not be able to. And as you can see here, this is pretty cool that we have a couple of rounds of just seeing the how powerful Esme is. Yeah, and so th this is still the old low E skill, so they copied another two-star Yu Zhang, but she just cannot be killed, guys. She cannot be killed. So now the main goal is really just to get anything and everything we can to two star. So that way the elementalist bonus really kicks in. And this is the, the first round versus the marksman frame. Which, having Esme to 3-star, I mean, she's just tanking out everything. Like, they cannot kill her. Especially with those those items. And if we weren't 6 out of 6 Western Desert, they, they might have taken us out there. So that is why it's super important to risk hit points get that upgrade so that way you can fit your get your six out of six in there because if you don't have the upgrade you won't be able to get it looks like i finally switched that magic item over to valir probably should have done that earlier because he has the western desert effect I'm going to go ahead and clone this Minotaur. So now, since Aurora is the only one at one star, that means we are going to get one extra three star. Because it's going to level up the lowest hero, or heroes twice. So you see the Minotaur is now three star. Which is great, because he is tanking out that Freya. Freya has a magic defense item on her, but it's, I mean, she really cannot do anything to this Esme. Alright, and looks like the marksman team beat out that fighter team. And in this last round, we get to, yeah, go head to head with this marksman Freya with a you know fully leveled team three star maya and two star all the rest of the marksmen it's definitely a strong team but 
the initial, that was actually Valier who like wiped out that whole front row. Looks like I'm not clicking on the damage. I apologize about that. But either way, you get to see how strong it is, how much burst damage, and how strong Esme can be. Just making sure you ensure the win. Making sure you ensure the win. <laughs> um, here I still, this is very early in the season, so I still have the 90 win rate. 